Yeah. yeah, but you got to vote. Yeah, he's on top of it. Cool. That's why I get to run this. You're cool. Don't worry. We'll get you every one day, unless you don't want to. In which case, good call. Um, <laughs> I do what I can. All right, I got to introduce this next gentleman. Um, here's the thing. Uh, they get to fill out their own information, so I'm just reading this straight up. Ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Uh, he is uh, the manager at uh, and booker at Laugh Lines. He is a ray of sunshine. <laughs> wow. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, no one else thought to do that. Yeah. So no, he is a ray of sunshine. He's very awesome. Met him earlier. I need a big round of applause, Mr. Mark Bloom. Everyone else is like, I'm a manager. I'm a booker. I'm this. He's like, no. I'm awesome. Let's roll with that. All right, we're on to the next comedian. This gentleman comes all the way from Spring Valley, California. I need a big round of applause for the one and the only, Eric Knowles. Thank you, thank you. Let's keep going for all the comments you see tonight. It's kind of a good show. Hello, how y'all doing? Nice to meet you. All right. A little bit. <laughs> Awkward start. A little about me. Uh, my name's Eric. Uh, I served in the Marine Corps from 1998. Thank you very much. I love how you just assume that I did a good job. That's very nice. I, I have to confess, I didn't do a great. I wasn't a very great Marine. I, uh, I had a lot of trouble. Those guys are very serious. You know, the Marine Corps is no place for a stand-up comedian. It turns out. I got in trouble all the time. They were just serious. I could never lock it up. Those guys could just shut it off real quick. I'd always be the last one, like, oh, every time. And they hated that about me. They hate. They were always like, what's so funny, Knowles? What's so funny? Like, every day, somebody asked me, what's so funny? Every time, I was like, all of this, everything that we're doing is hilarious to me. All of this is crazy. You don't realize that? What's so funny right now? I'm like, okay, how about the fact that you're making us run around, you're making us wear these tight little shirts and these short shorts, and you're making us run through the wilderness singing songs about how tough we are. Nobody sees the irony there? That's textbook irony, man. I'll do it, but let me giggle. That's funny, for sure. That's what half the Marines was, just running around singing little ditties with the guys. You know what? And oddly enough, that's what I miss the most about it sometimes. <laughs> it was fun. It only makes sense there. You know what I mean? I can't convince any of my friends today to go run around and sing songs with me. <laughs> I think it would be a good idea. It'd keep us in shape and out of trouble. <laughs> I think it'd be nice. Can you imagine you wake up one Saturday morning and there's just a bunch of buff dudes running through your cul-de-sac <laughs> just singing the latest hits. He used to call me I got a clipboard in the back. Sign up, man. It's gonna be fun. We did. That's what we did. We ran around singing songs. We'd all, we'd get started. We'd usually start with this one. We'd get going and we'd be like, one, two, three, four, Marine Corps. One, two, give me some more Marine Corps. Right? It's good stuff. You know. It's nice. Only I'd be saying cream corn. Nobody knows. <laughs> it's my way of rebelling a little bit. <laughs> you run a cream corn! <laughs> it's true, I used to scream about corn for miles and miles. <laughs> cream corn, what are we doing out here? It's hallucinating on a runner's high. Cream corn. <laughs> Maybe that's why they call him the colonel. What are we doing? I did, though. I got in a lot of trouble while I was in. I was in, I got busted down. I lost rank three times in five years. And then I got out honorably, barely. It was close. <laughs> it was really close. They liked me. They just had to do their jobs, you know. <laughs> they were professional. They were like, that was hilarious, Knowles, but we got to write you up on that one, for sure. <laughs> like, ha, 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 but... Mm. <laughs> I was frowned upon quite a bit. I was a fish out of water in the Marine Corps, man. It, it's just, by the time I got there, it was too late to back out, you know? As soon as I got to San Diego, we stood on those yellow footprints and everything changed so fast. It was such a shock to my whole psyche. You know, they shaved our head, they stripped us down naked, they left us that way for an inappropriate amount of time, I thought. <laughs> it was like the whole first three or four hours, just naked as a jailbird, getting yelled at. Just get in that line! Is this the line you're talking? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> so stressful. <laughs> Everything was wrong, you know? 
They finally gave us new clothes, one article at a time. You know, everything's wrong. Here's your sock. Too slow. Get back to the line. <laughs> And it was super stressful. They were giving us all these impossible tasks, never enough time to finish it. Like every time they gave us an article of clothing, like a shirt or a sock or something, we had a rubber ink stamp kit. We had to stamp our name on that. So Knowles on all my shirts and all my socks and everything. So this whole first day was all kind of crazy. And then finally it was bedtime at the end of this long day. You know, they're like, okay, we're gonna hit the rack. I'm like, finally. You know. So put on the following articles of clothing. And they dressed us by the numbers. They made us put on these tidy whitey brief underwear. You know, and the, the little green t-shirt. And they made us tuck the t-shirt into the underwear, you know. Yeah, I was like, why are you making this be so cute right now? Like, this, is, this is adorable. So this is... The whole thing was strange, man. It's like a weird dream. The, the weird, another weird part was on the front of the underwear, they made us stamp our name right on the front. Like, why would you put it there? That's a terrible place for a name tag, you know what I mean? trying to learn each other's names and shit. We just got there. It's rude. I remember being like, hey, nice to meet you, Garcia. He's like, it's Garcia Reyes. Like, it wrapped around, bro. I didn't to on your long ass hyphenated name later, I guess. Formalities later. So finally we went to sleep, we got a couple of hours of sleep, and then it woke up abruptly. This guy's banging a trash can lid. It was crazy, and I was I got in trouble. Before I was even woken up good, he was all up in my face. He was, I didn't even know what was wrong. He was mad because I had a boner in the morning. <laughs> it wasn't because of anything weird, it was just a fast wake up. I didn't have time to do anything. I just jumped out of bed, here we go, son of a bitch. <laughs> I wish that was just a joke that I go around telling. That's a memory that I live with. It's so embarrassing. Because he called me out in front of everybody. He jumped at it like it was a snake in the bush. You know? He's just like, today's day one of the Marine Corps boot camp. Today we're going to be working on what the hell is this thing right here? Right in front of everybody. He's like, why are you hard, Nose? Why are you guys not? It's morning. I'm 19. I'm sorry. You guys think it's funny. He did not think it's funny. <laughs> when you're different in Marine Corps boot camp, they make an example out of you. That's what he did to me. He made me stand at attention in the middle of the squad bay with my little underwear and my boner that said Knowles across the front. <laughs> he made everyone else do push-ups. You know that scenario? I'm just standing there. He's just taunting everyone. Everybody's gonna keep doing push-ups until Knowles' boner goes away. That's a lot of pressure for a young man. <laughs> you ever try to wish away a boner? Like, hey, what's <laughs> it was my first day. Man. Everybody was mad at me because they had to do like 400 push-ups. <laughs> It took forever. <laughs> it's just a weird feeling knowing that like 50 grown men are upset about your bone. <laughs> you stop thinking about it. <laughs> Plus the drill instructor was making it worse, you know, they been taunting everybody. You guys enjoy those push-ups? Well, let's see how Knowles is doing over here. Oh, he's still turned on, boys. He's like, I'm not turned on, sir. But quit breathing on it. Like, That's what I did for our country. You're welcome. <laughs> Put your phone away. Have you voted?
Yeah, get your vote going. Uh, I have one more as uh, our last judge uh, to introduce. Uh, this gentleman owns Gold, uh, Gold Artist Entertainment. He, uh, he directs movies and commercials. He is a celebrity manager. Uh, he was a cast member on Last Comic Standing, and he runs the biggest comedy festival in Los Angeles. I need a big round of applause for Dante!